welcome. And again, this video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the full playlist. There should be a link in the description and at the end of this video. Uh, and uh, so far, we've looked at doing Morse code, uh, transmitting and uh, uh, encoding and decoding on our computer. And we have also looked at using GUI interfaces for something called PSK31, uh, which is useful. But as I mentioned in the previous video, I need something that is a shell application so I can pipe information into it and also pull information out of. And that's where this program comes in. Uh, Minimodem C, Morse code is just way too slow. So we need something that does uh, um, frequency shifting to send the information a little bit faster. PSK31 uh, is an option I've played with in the past, but again, it's only Google applications that I can find. But this program, Minimodem, which uses uh, FSK, frequency shifting, I should have looked it up before I did this video, something like that. Um, Minimodem, which is in your repository, so I'm using uh, Debian, as I've mentioned in the previous videos, but I'm going to search for Minimodem, and you can see I already have it installed, because you can see this I right here. And that's what we're going to be playing with today. And uh, again, uh, I forgot to mention in a previous video uh, with the Morse code, I have example codes. Check out the link in the description, which will bring you to my GitHub page, which will have uh, a few different uh, example files that you can play around with. And uh, so let's go ahead and play with this uh, uh, mini modem. And again, uh, similar to the PSK, this is going to sound like an old modem. If you're like me and you lived through the 90s, uh, you remember what the old modems sound like, and that's basically what they were doing. They were using audible tones uh, to communicate with other computers, and that's what we're going to be doing. So, mini modem. And uh, let's have a real quick, quick look at the man page here. It tells you right here, this is the command to transmit. This is the command to receive. And you can do uh, different speeds, um, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna play around with this today. There's a lot of options in here. We're just gonna touch on on the base of it. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say echo, hello world. I'm gonna pipe that into uh, mini modem uh, dash dash tx. And I'm just going to say 110 for our speed. Now you can change that and make it faster. Uh, and definitely you can go faster than 110 and still get good results. But the faster you go, the more likely you are to get um, errors. So let's go ahead and give that a try. It's kind of low. Let me turn up the volume a little bit on my computer here. <laughs> ah, it's because it's playing through my headphones. Let me change that. Ooh, okay, there we go. There we go, that's a good volume right there. Uh, so you see we quickly transmitted Hello World. A lot faster than the Morris code. Uh, and again, you can pipe files into there. Let me see. So here, I can cut out this address log, which is just a list of addresses, 30 or so of them. And I can pipe that into our mini modem command. Uh, and we can say transmit uh, 110 and it's going to go through and to go through this full list um, you know it isn't the fastest in the world but a lot faster than the Morse code um, so there you go that's uh, transmitting a file using a mini modem so let's see how do you receive a file uh, so basically the same thing we're going to use mini modem let me clear the screen here modem and this time dash dash receive and we got to give it the same speed that we're transmitting at so there we go and now it's listening and let me go ahead and open up my audio manager here you can see it listening here it's listening to my USB microphone I'm going to tell it to listen to uh, my audio output on my machine that should be the right option there and now I should be able to uh, transmit. So basically I'm going to be playing this out through my speakers but this uh, command up here is now being listening to my speakers so it's like it's I'm transmitting and receiving on the same machine but it's listening to it audio wise through my audio card. Let me go ahead and hit enter here. So the first address got a little gargled there, but uh, the rest of the addresses seems to be coming through fine. And I think that's just, you know, the, the starting, it just took a second for it to catch up. There was a little static there at the beginning. But you can count one, 
two, three, four, five. So about five seconds per line here. And again, we can make it go faster, but I find this being a reliable speed. And again, uh, my original scenario here is as a firefighter in a pinch where we have no normal communes, uh, means of communication through computers like we do uh, during like a hurricane that we previously had. We can get information out. We can tell trucks, this is the address, this is the problem and send it out to all the computers and whoever's closest can pick it up or whatever. But it's just, you know, three or four lines of information we can we need to send. So in 20 seconds, we can get that information sent out. And of course we can verbally send that to them, but it'd be nice to have the computer output because that's what we have normally. Uh, so you're not having to write everything down. But as you can see, this is very easily transmitted. And in the first video in this series, I showed doing that through walkie-talkies, which we'll get more into that and other options in future videos. So I'm just going to control C to kill that, go up here and kill that. So that's transmitting and receiving. Again, look in the uh, link in the description of this video, bring you to a GitHub page. Uh, and so we have uh, folders, most for the Morse code right now and for the mini modem. Uh, and so you can see we have some shell scripts here that basically just show you what I do. So you can just go in here and say, okay, transmit, run that, and it's going to start transmit. It's going to tell you the command that it's running, and it's going to tell you some other options in here, uh, and same with the receive. So go ahead, check that out, download that code, download that program, play with it, and we're going to get more into this in the next couple of videos. So I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description of this video. Um, and if you like my videos and want to support, uh, think about supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash melex1000. There's a link to that in the description as well. You can also support me through PayPal on my, uh, if you go to my Films by Chris website, there's a link there under support. I do thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.